Mixed martial arts, or MMA, in our own backyard. <laughs> and we found some amateur MMA fighters in Columbus and East Alabama, like 19-year-old Thorne Foss. He started learning jiu-jitsu at age 11. And he trains for MMA every day now at the Combative Fitness Center in Phoenix City, sparring, learning moves and takedowns for the violent sport. And I asked if friends and family think he's crazy. Man, it actually gains you some popularity. Like people like look up to you when you're doing stuff. Pretty cool. I like it. The day they walk through the door, we're, we're gonna hammer them and let them know this is, you know, how you gonna get to be a good fighter. So what does Fott think about getting hit in the face so much? And you think it'd be worse, but I think you just get used to it. You know what I mean? After getting hit so much. In one of my fights, I choked the guy. He tapped. I left his head up and jacked him. Yako Khalili is the head MMA instructor here, wishing the sport would grow more locally. His students are from all walks of life. Those are the guys we're getting in here, guys that you know haven't been in a fight, or we get in here, we start punching them in the face, and they freak out. Here, showing me the guillotine move, like an air choke. So like his neck is in this this hole right here, and I'm just gonna make that hole smaller. And you, you control him after that, or? Oh, it depends on what you want to do. The local combative school has seen its most growth in MMA classes, thanks to experienced fighters teaching. These guys, they've really caused uh, MMA at the school to really expand and blow up around here. Now, there are actually rules for mixed martial arts. You can kick somebody in the leg, but you cannot knee them in the groin. Now, as for their back, you cannot hit them in the spine, the neck, or the back of the head. I mean, one of the guys that we have is he builds houses during the day and comes in here and gets his face punched in at night, you know, and you know, he's gotten a lot better. I teach a submission grappling, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and uh, that's what I specialize in. My thigh is cutting up the, the blood flow on this side. And it can take months, even years, to learn to be a good MMA fighter. We've had uh, guys fight in Louisiana, in Kentucky, in Atlanta. And 19 year old Fox hopes to travel when he eventually goes pro. Dude, I'd like to do it and uh, one day be a coach, no more school.